So to once you've calculated your resting heart rate and we want to work out our training zones using the Car Carvone formula, this is going to be how you're going to do your self calculations for your personal training zones. So what we need to start with is we need to start, we take this number 220, which is the same as our um, maximal heart rate method and we take away our age. Okay. So for that one, I'm, I'm 30. So I'm going to take away 30, which is of course is going to equal 119. Okay. What we would normally do now if we're using the, the maximal heart rate method, we just work out our percentages based on that 190, but that wouldn't take into account our cardio fitness level. So we do a, we do another calculation. So we take 190, but we take away our resting heart rate. Okay, I'm going to assume for now that my resting heart rate is 60. Okay, so if I do my 190 minus 60, that equals, I'll just do it down here, minus 60 equals 130. Okay, so that's my new number that I'm going to use to calculate my percentages from. So, um, if you're not very good on percentages, I am terrible, this is a really easy way to work it out. So I take my 130, because I want to work out a percentage, I take my 130 there. And whenever someone asks me to create, do a percentage of anything, the first thing I write down is times 0 0.. That's it. I write that there, times 0 0.. Now I'm going to imagine I'm um, going out for a long run and I want to put myself in the fat burning zone. So that zone where you condition your body to burn fat as a fuel source. Uh, which is going to be between 60 and 70% roughly of your heart rate max. So I want to work out 60% of 130 and 60% and sorry and 70% of 130. So I do my times 0 point and all I do now is I write 60% here or 60 and 70 here. Okay, I've just got to calculate those. I've got a calculator right next to me now. So that won't take a minute. 130 times 0 0.60 and that's going to equal 78. Okay, and then I've got 130 times 0 0.70 equals 91. Okay, now I'm almost done. Now this is the step that most people forget. So we take these two numbers, so we've got our 78, and I've got my 91. And then the final thing I need to do is I need to add back on my resting heart rate up here, which was 60. So I'm going to put RHR, which stands for resting heart rate, RHR, which is 60, which is 60 on both of them. There we go. I'm going to jump over to my calculator because my maths is not the strongest. So I've got 78 plus 60 equals 138. And then I've got my 91 plus 60 equals 151 okay so 138 equals 60 percent of my max 151 equals 70 percent of my max so what i know now is if i go out for a run and i want to get myself into that fat burning zone condition my body to burn fat as a fuel source i'm going to put on my heart rate monitor and I want to maintain my heart rate between 138 and 151 to make sure I'm in that zone and not I hit um, the actual required intensity and therefore I get the required adaptation. The, a lot of things people do wrong is they will just go out and run as hard as they can or run as light as they can. There's no measurement of actually what zone we're in. Whereas this carbon and formula here will just go through that, um, that method very simply. Um, to, to help you out. Hopefully that was helpful.